Hello once again, I'm Joe Cook and I'm back with another Joe Cook's segment. I'm excited about this one. We're gonna be making some of my jambalaya, Joe's jambalaya. And to help me make that jambalaya today is Malcolm Wilson, the center for the Ridgeview Blazers. And Malcolm, I know if you've had an eventful uh, past couple of days, mm -hmm. you got the Georgetown shirt on, man, committing yeah. to Georgetown. How did it feel to make that commitment, man? Uh, it was weight lifted off my shoulders. It's nice to get it out there and to have support in my decision. Right, right. Yeah. And you talk about support, man. What was it, how's it been, you know, just growing as a player at Ridgeview? Um, I mean, it's been a process. There's been stressful times. There's been fun times. There's ups and downs with everything. But, I mean, to have people that care about you and want you to do your best is an amazing feeling. Right. And I know you're going to be feeling amazing after this jambalaya, man. So, so these are some of the greens we have out here. And it's a pretty simple recipe. You know, you just get all your greens together, mm -hmm. throw in a crock pot, and, and you're basically good to go. So what I have here, I got some diced tomatoes, about, you know, a 20-ounce can will do. Some shredded chicken. We also have some brown rice, pineapple. That's kind of like my special ingredient. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, some kielbasa, shrimp, onions. A pepper blend. This is uh, pepper, salt, some parsley, and some dried thyme. So first things first, Malcolm. What we're actually going to start. We're actually going to put some of our meat in first. So I'm going to put these in a crock pot for me okay. right quick. So man, what what was it like? You know, just kind of developing at Ridgeview and and, and just growing. Because man, you were probably like under the radar at first. Mm -hmm. But I mean, all these recruiting. You know, scout, scouts and everybody, everybody come to your practices. What's, what's that been like, just getting so much, so much attention? Um, it was definitely unexpected, not being the greatest player in the beginning and still not being the greatest player now. But I had a lot of people speaking for me, uh, and that saw potential in me, mm -hmm. which brought coaches in, and that's the reason I was recruited. Wow, wow, that's what's up, man. We got the diced tomatoes in here. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can put some of these in there. And Malcolm, also tell me about why, why Georgetown? Georgetown was the best decision for me academically and athletically. Mm -hmm. It was, I mean, academically, I don't think I had many better options. And athletically, being coached by their coaches, uh, Coach Ewing, mm -hmm. he's an amazing coach, had a great career professionally and in college at Georgetown. Mm -hmm. um, and they really want to develop me. They started coaching me before I committed they while they were recruiting me they were telling me ways I can be better so it started before I committed and also a big time guy was Matt McGlone go, going there too so yep. I mean big time guard mm -hmm. you know athletic guy I mean how excited are you to be playing along with him um it's gonna be great to know him go up there this weekend get to meet him uh I think they have a lot of great players up there great guys mm -hmm. and hopefully we'll just be a good brotherhood up there Malcolm's putting in the salt, putting in some of mm -hmm. our spices last year. A here. lot of salt. I can say, yeah, about two tablespoons of salt. That's about a teaspoon of dried thyme. Okay. And a quarter teaspoon of some smokehouse pepper. It's also a special green that my mom hooked me up with. McCormick and some uh, parsley here as well. So you can put that in there last. And you basically just... And you basically just put those all together, man. And what, what's your experience cooking, man? Because, uh, you know, we're, we're doing Joe Cook, so I'm, I'm trying to maybe learn you something. But also, mm -hmm. I mean, how, how, how often do you cook? I don't cook that often. I normally make breakfast in the morning. This morning I made eggs, but it doesn't <laughs> go that far. You think yeah. you can make something like this? It seems pretty easy once I get the ingredients. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you put all this in, you're going you to stir that up in a crock pot low and slow for about five to six hours. So you can put this in, you know, overnight or early in the morning. You can have it for dinner or lunchtime. And of course, mm -hmm. we got to do the taste test, man. So I prepared some of this earlier today. And uh, this is what it looks like here with some of the uh, some of the garnish here with some of the parsley garnish. And my man, Malcolm, you're going to just gonna just down that, man. Tell, tell, tell them how it is. good that's good mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> well i appreciate your time man thanks for joining me man and congrats on all your accomplishments state champion malcolm wilson he's gonna be heading to georgetown man so appreciate yes, your time today thank you all right yep. and that's all i have for today on joe cooks me and malcolm wilson making some jambalaya